The video we're about to show you is the reality for working parents right now. This mom from South Carolina recorded two hours of working from home with kids. You can see in this time lapse how many times she was interrupted. They want snacks. Her name is Katie. She's the sole parent on duty with her three young children. The distractions are dizzying and I feel her. That's why I'm in a room right now that has a door that I can close because that's what it takes. And throughout this broadcast, you might still hear and see a head peep through that door. So let's bring back our crew right now. Uh, you're all parents. I would love to chat with you about this. Fess up a little bit. How are you dealing with being around your kids 24 seven? Have you claimed a part of the house that's just yours yet? I'm gonna start with me. I, I think the boy is doing just fine. He can play Fortnite all day and maybe throw in some school for fun. But um, my nine-year-old daughter, she needs a friend. She's an extrovert, she's very social. So I find that I am becoming that person. Uh, and Andrea, I know that you have, uh, you have a nine-year-old as well, so how's it going? Oh my gosh, Tracy, I'm in the same boat. So I have two teenagers who are doing their own thing and my son too can play Fortnite or can play his PS4 all day long, no problem. But my yeah. nine-year-old needs a lot of attention. So it's hard. I mean, to be honest, some days is some days are easier than others, but some days are pretty challenging for sure. Shobana, how's it going with sweet little Sophia? Well, you know, I'm lucky in the sense that she still sleeps two to three hours in the afternoon. Um, I too have become her best friend. Uh, the real question is, how am I doing with Mike 24-7 at home? <laughs> we have just really adopted a, a new routine in which we take shifts with Sophia, being her best friend. Um, we've taken over a bedroom each for work because obviously my studio is the new like food bunker storage area. Um, so we're just really working with our efficiencies. He's a great cook, so obviously he's going to cook. And uh, I take care of Sophia's like development and activity plans, things like that. So we're making it work. So good. I love that plan. Sophia is such a cutie. And then Janice, you're a part of the party of five. So I mean, it's an all day, yes. 24 hour club up in your house. Your kids are amazing though. So I'm just wondering, how's it going in terms of balancing it all? Uh, you know, it's definitely a different way, but it's been fine. The, the kids are, my kids are lovely. They're working through all of the stages that they need to do, which is like the set schoolwork and the, uh, the playtime and trying to get them off their devices. They get along really well. So just kind of making sure they go to their own spaces when the time is right, just to give them that uh, space in between them. And then as far as connecting with them, I take a dog walk once a day or three times a day. And so I'll take one with me. Uh, and then it's just, oh. you know, that's the conversation. And it's very interesting because one will just constantly talk the entire time. And then one, I'm like pulling <laughs> teeth. So and then the third walk, I make two people go out and do the walk. So I don't know. We're just rolling with it and trying to keep it going and keep it happy as much as we can. I love that they've all become your assistants and your camera people and your sound people and your lighting though. So you have them very well trained. You have a very good crew, a very good digital crew there and that's fantastic. Randy, it's you and your fantastic hairstylist Catherine and Cash, how's it going? You know what, it's so, we're so blessed because Cash Man, he's just so easy. You know, the screen time is definitely on the rise. Um, he started Fortnite, so that's, that's a good thing. He's enjoying that. But then he does get tired of it and we're usually outside and we're doing some gardening and we're doing some, you know, some fires and some smoking and things like that. And uh, the one thing he doesn't like and that we're really not working well with because I'm not very good at is homeschooling. I've realized that I'm not a very good teacher and he kind of realized that he's not a very good cook, but we're slowly getting there. So he's learning how to cook and I'm <laughs> learning grade three math. See, that is a good deal both ways. I love that. And outside is the best side for kids. Get them outside. They will grumble about it maybe for about five, 10 minutes. And they, th then they are so into nature, playing with a stick, some soil, some grass, getting back to basics. Thanks to all of you for being so honest.